We want to call to order the meeting of the Strategic Planning Committee. Um, we, uh, Suzanne, we have Randy Kluat has not gotten here yet. Uh, hopefully he'll get here in, uh, in time. And with that, we'd like to uh, ask Councilman Valentine to lead us in prayer. Father, we thank you for this day, Lord God. We thank you for our, our health, Lord Father, and friends and family, God. We always, as always, Lord, we like to ask you to protect our men and women in uniform, Father. God, we ask you to give us strength and wisdom tonight, Lord, as we meet and uh, decide business that, business that is uh, beneficial to our parish. And we ask all these things in your Son's holy name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Valentine. And uh, I'd, I'd also like to add uh, our best wishes and prayers to uh, Mr. James Wilson, a good friend of mine, and he also has worked uh, with the parish a long time doing concrete work. Uh, he's in the hospital right now uh, battling cancer, so we wish him a speedy recovery. Um, with that, uh, anyone wishing to speak on public comment, uh, come up and fill out a card, and we will allow you your your voice to be heard. And number four, discussion on proposed ordinance to amend October 20th, 2005 ordinance to provide for and set a reasonable fee for the Paris of Ascension to provide copies for public documents. Ms. Manda. Good afternoon, committee members. Um, this ordinance has three changes to the current proposed ordinance will change the uh, current ordinances uh, three ways. Right now we don't have a chief administrative officer, so this will provide in the absence of the CAO that the parish paralegal be the custodian of records. Change number two, we are going to, instead of just referencing two or three of the state statutes, we're going to reference the entire public records law. That's uh, Louisiana Revised Statute 44 colon 1 and following. It's about 50 statutes, actually. <coughs> the third change is in the fee schedule. We're, we are keeping the price at 25 cents a page, but should a citizen elect to get a color page, we're going to allow them to do that at a cost uh, for, set for 50 cents a page. Uh, instead of $5 for a DVD, the, the price is going up to $10, and that's, um, that concludes all the proposed changes. Okay. Other than that, we are basically doing the same thing. Can you give us a, a synopsis of what a person would, would do and what is expected of the parish whenever they want to uh, get public records? Well, anyone can come in. We have forms available. I'm looking at getting those forms placed online so people can, can see that. I have developed a standard response form that tracks the language of state law. So if we don't have a record, say, in the parish president's office, if it's in DPW, we can let that person know. If we don't currently have the record, we can get it to you within 72 hours or as soon as practic practicable. So um, we want to provide that form online as well. Okay, and what is the time frame? Uh, state law requires us to respond in writing within 72 hours. If we, if we can answer the request, we must do so within that time. If not, we've got to provide written reasonings why we can't, where the, where the record's located and whose custody it is and why we can't provide it to you at this time. All right, and then at what point in time do we have, uh, I think you said it was five days that, that, they, that there must be a response? Within three working days, we must respond. But if for some reason the parish does not respond, state law will allow a citizen to file a complaint with the court. They can actually get, they can get their actual costs, their attorney's fees, and in some cases up to $100 a day in damages. So if a person does file a complaint and he's not uh, being addressed, then they, if they do file and they, and they are correct, then they will receive their reimbursement. Right, and state law addresses all of those issues. Okay. Mr. Joseph. Yes, Ms. Mann. So 
you send a letter 72 hours and saying that the records is in Donaldsonville, and you have how many days after that to get them that information? That information, I, I think it is a time limit on that. Well, way. state law requires that you respond in a reasonable amount of time, and uh, other than the 72 hours and the five day period, it doesn't address okay. a specific time. Well, and that, that, was, that was my only concern is what is a reasonable amount of time. Uh, Mr. Valentine. Yeah. Um, comment first. Um, I, I, um, and I mentioned this to, to Chairman uh, Sheikh Snyder. Um, wasn't, uh, didn't, wasn't notified of, of this meeting until yesterday, which is fine. It was 24 hours, which is state law. But I, I didn't realize this was on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we, we want to be a government that is you know, people friendly. Um, I know this is spurred on probably from some other events of the past few weeks, and that's fine. But this does mimic and does parallel state law. There's no, nothing in it. Okay. Correct. All right. Nothing in it is contrary to state law. I'm not going to deviate, but just a hair. Since you opened that can of worms, I would like to make a suggestion. Okay. Since you got here in this ordinance dealing with the absence of a chief administrative officer, mm -hmm. I would urge you as legal counsel to make sure that we have something in place also when the parish president leaves town for 72 hours. Mm -hmm. That took place a while back, and to this day I hadn't been able to find out who took over. And it, it's, it's, it's to benefit the government so that if something happens, unfortunately would happen, mm -hmm. that we wouldn't be in chaos and somebody deciding who's going to run the parish as administrator. He may have appointed someone. I'm sure he did. Mm -hmm. But I, as a council member, I wasn't notified. Not that I have to be, but I did ask him specifically before he left if he would do that. So that may be in the, need to be in the form uh, of an official document an for legal order. purposes. Yes. And in fact, we did draft. There was an executive order that was signed by President Martinez uh, to that effect. But certainly we can, we can post that on our website. We can make it available to the public so they, they are aware of that, okay. too. <clears throat> That's all, Ms. Bell. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Mann, uh, we have, uh, you had given me a response to public records requests that, yes. that you had drafted up, and this is basically what, uh, what would be the policy by uh, administration. administration. Uh, could we have this online also and have it mandated that people can see what's there? And that way, administratively, you can adapt it to whatever you need to do administratively, but the people will know immediately uh, if we could put that in ordinance that it has to be published with, uh, you know, online since we do everything online. Okay. So you'd like me to add a section to the ordinance requiring that these documents are posted on our parish website? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. That way it would be very easy for people to see what exactly this needs to be done. It would have, they would be able to see exactly what the parish would have to do to respond, and there's no secrets there. And we can even include a link to the state statutes. Uh, okay. And while you're on that, <laughs> can you make a notation that uh, it is uh, kind of cumbersome right now to get to the parish charter when you get, try to get online? Would you please... Oh, on the parish it, website? Yes, we can get it a little bit easier to get to the parish charter, find the parish charter. Certainly, I can when speak with technology that. about that. But, you know, it's also available on municode.com. That's where I, where I get it. But, yeah, we'll, we'll make sure that link's functioning properly. Right. Well, it, but it doesn't stipulate that. Yeah. Um, right. It, you have to go to a forum, and then that, that's the way I've had to go to it a couple of times, and it's, mm -hmm. it's a little cumbersome. The parish charter is referred to so many times by so many people, it would be a good idea just to put that as a quick link to get in there. Uh, we, we, I'll be we happy found to make that. that suggestion to the Office it. of Technology. <clears throat> Anybody think of any other questions? Um, I just have one more. I know you have all of them except do we want to provide them besides um, uh, DVD? How about uh, emailing them? It's Certainly, if we have documents, and we're really trying to work towards scanning all of our documents in, if it's available in that form, we can provide it in that form for their review. And we have actually offered to do that to, for a couple of people who've come in recently. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
But if you'd like me to address that specifically in the ordinance, I can. Well, I mean, it, it wouldn't be any, any charge. Oh, uh, I, mean, I don't guess it would be any charge for that. Okay. Then I, I'm making a motion that we uh, accept the ordinance with your addition. Okay. We have Second. we have a motion by Mr. Joseph to accept the new proposed ordinance. Uh, with the addition of the public records requests on the website okay. and a second by Mr. Benny Johnson. Any discussions, further discussions? Any objections? So passed. And with that, we entertain. Move to adjourn. Second. Motion to adjourn. This meeting is now adjourned. <laughs>